What's going on YouTube and gun channels? This is Travis P11 and today I went ahead and got into the uh, gun vault to get out an oldie but a goodie. Uh, this is the second shotgun that I ever owned in my lifetime. All right? This is the Mossberg 835 Ultimag. This is one of the earlier versions of the gun. Um, I believe I got this gun around 2001, uh, maybe 2002. I know it's a late 90s production. I, did, I have actually seen this particular firearm in some of the older price guides. Uh, that I've been looking through. This uh, particular 835 is the Waterfowl USA Special Edition. It has a medallion in the buttstock, and there might have been a portion of the gun cell that went to Waterfowl USA. Uh, what's great about this shotgun, it's a very flexible shotgun. I do have a rifled slug barrel that's sitting down there below it. Um, it is a bit of a pain to take off and interchange with the uh, shot barrel, but it's not impossible. It takes a little bit of time to get it off, but it is. it makes an excellent uh, deer gun for those states that do not allow long rifle for deer season. In fact, my first deer hunt, that's what I used. Uh, and I did actually uh, install a rail on the top, a weaver rail with a scope. And uh, I was shooting Hornaday SST 12-gauge uh, slug rounds, which are wicked. Uh, the, the range on those is close to 200 yards, 175 yards with, I don't know, six or seven inch drops. So they're a very potent round that you can use. Um, as an all-around shotgun, I've shot this to shoot blue rock, you know, clay pigeons, blue rock, um, just kind of playing around. I've shot all sorts of different rounds through it. Um, it does shoot two and three quarters, three and three and a half inch rounds, uh, a 12 gauge, obviously. So if you happen to stumble upon one of these in a store, think about picking it up. You know, I've had mine for close to 15 years now, and I've never had any issues with it. In fact, uh, first time I took apart the uh, the trigger mechanism and actually take the chamber apart uh, was about two years ago. And, uh, you know, I had shot, I don't even know how many rounds through it. Never had any problems with uh, ejecting or extracting. Uh, it really wasn't that dirty inside because I would always wipe out, you know, the chamber and the bore, the barrel, and so on. But the action itself, um, it is a little bit of a pain to put back together. I did watch a few uh, YouTube videos on how to reassemble it, so I do it the right way. But it's not impossible. Uh, you know, there, there's been so many different designs and redesigns and changes and enhancements and so on to this particular shotgun that, you know, you can, they're, they're not that hard to find. They're not that rare. Price-wise, man, I couldn't even tell you. I would think maybe I could get 350 bucks for something like this. I don't know. Um, I don't plan on selling it because it's such a versatile shotgun. It's a heavy beast, but uh, it's a great uh, shotgun to have. Um, it is, I believe it has a 28-inch barrel. I'm pretty sure that's what it says on the uh, barrel itself. It has a lot of inscriptions on it. Um, but yeah, it's been a great shotgun and just wanted to get this one out of the vault and show it off. So it's the Mossberg 835 Ultimag. Uh, if you get a chance to pick one of these up, think about doing so. I'm sure a lot of you had these guns when you were younger. Um, great shotgun, man. Haven't had any major issues with it. Um, I did have one winter pheasant hunt I was doing with it where the safety, which is uh, up here on the back, it's a sliding safety, it did actually freeze up on me because of the ice and the snow and the rain that was coming down. So I went ahead and called it a day uh, just because I couldn't safely fire the gun or lock the safe on it. That's about the only issue I've ever really run into with it. Um, oh, and it, it does have um, four or five different choke tubes that do come with it from the factory. I, I've got them in an accessory box under the table. I'm not going to fish them out, but they've got a choke tube for like tungsten steel and uh, lead and, and improved cylinder and modified and, and so on. So you do get a variety of choke tubes with it and it will accept any 835 choke tube that's out there. Uh, this particular model does not have any kind of a vented barrel. I know the next revision up had the vented barrel on it. Uh, with the holes drilled towards the end, and they did change the uh, pump itself, the handguard, whatever you want to call it. Uh, they did kind of modernize that a little bit, but again, it's a great first shotgun. You know, they're not too expensive to get into. The addition of the slug barrel is fantastic. Uh, make sure that you shoot uh, Sabit slugs or Sabo slugs, whatever they're called, uh, if, you, if you do, in fact, use this for slug shooting. Um, otherwise, yeah, excellent shotgun, highly recommend it. So this is Travis P11. Hey, check out my uh, my gun channel. Again, it's the uh, Ordinary Average Guy Gun Channel. I'm trying to promote that a little bit. Check me out over there on gunchannels.com and then also Travis P11 on YouTube. So, all right, take care, be safe, and have fun.